Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we're looking at a new attack strategy that works with the Bat Spell and even with the Stone Slammer. It is a basically a spam from the air. Still takes um, some planning, some technique. It's not a complete spam attack, but this is a way that you can really overpower bases at Town Hall 10. And it's using the new Bat Spell, taking advantage of these bats targeting defenses and they work very well with dragons. The dragons don't require a lot of spells. Basically the idea is you're going to create a funnel on both sides with your heroes like you would on any dragon attack or a minor attack. Then you send in the dragons, you can use like two rages on them. Then you just support with bat spells and the bat spells are really good at taking out defenses while everything's focused on the dragons and in this case on the stone slammer which gets some great value here as it kind of moves through the base. Uh, you can see the bat spell is especially overwhelmed towards the back end. Um, he actually saved a rage on this one because those bats under rage are just almost impossible for these wizard towers to target because they move so fast. Um, ton of dragons left up, stone slammer still left up. I don't even think it, it like drops its actual troops. I don't even know what's inside of it. It's a mystery. Um, it's, um, it's incredible to think that you still have troops inside of it even after it uh, does all the work it does as just... A siege machine on its own so this is a very powerful strategy right there he dropped it just for fun turns out it has a dragon and two max loons in it so that's um that's definitely a good thing to bring in there add another dragon and a few balloons to the fight but this thing is powerful guys um experiment with it in friendly challenge it's not going to be like first time success even though it looks very spammy you do have to practice this a little bit see kind of how bases respond to it get a feel for it um but once you start to understand how it works you're gonna have a lot of success with it here's another example and notice we're using two lava hounds those are soaking up a lot of air traps they're tanking for those dragons initially because the dragons have to get far enough into the base to be a presence um it, that way they can tank for those bat spells and i know um, I said previously, you know, the Inferno Tower is on multi. That's a great counter for bat spells. And it is, but it's not necessarily a great counter for this specific use of bat spells, which is with dragons and a very spam type attack. Now, this was a very creative way of using the Wall Wrecker, going to basically insert it into that very valuable area. There's a lot of air targeting stuff in that area. Going to allow the queen to just kind of walk around. And guess what? There's balloons and a dragon in it. So... That is a great way to create a funnel in what is otherwise a very difficult place for dragons to go. The queen also comes back and helps. Um, and then here's the rage. The two hounds don't take for a long time, but they soak up seeking air mines. And they, they definitely take a lot of that heavy DPS out of the way. Now this multi-inferno here is just overwhelmed. I mean, with a rage and like eight or six or seven bat spells, I think. It, I mean, not even a multi-inferno is going to be able to stop that. And you can see the dragons themselves soak up the beams of these multi-infernos. And once that starts happening, you're opening it up for the bat spell because the multi is weakened. It has less available beams to target those bats. So in both these attacks, you guys saw how many dragons were left up. Um, crazy, crazy stuff. Now, um, unfortunately, that's all the attacks I have. We're going to kind of switch gears um, I wish I could bring you guys even more of these uh, Bat Spell Dragon attacks. They're very powerful at Town Hall 10. My recommendation is try them out in Friendly Challenge. Just going to spend a few minutes because I want to also highlight One Hive Origins making it to the finals of the league they were in, I believe. Um, I'm not even going to actually guess because it would be... I don't want to get it wrong in the video. I'll put it in the comments section of the video because I can't remember it off the top of my head but this was the finals I think it's one of the CWL leagues and they came very close this was a tied war so if you guys are wondering what happens um, the rules say that they actually have to do a tiebreaker and considering it was a mostly a low breakdown the last war was nines and tens um, this war had all nines but only five attacks so um, Eagle Nest PH went 5 for 5. Unfortunately, uh, one got away from us. And for those of you Town Hall 9s out there, it's a rare a rare occurrence that you see a Town Hall 9. Um, but not really. A lot of people still are Town Hall 9s. And it is a little naive to think that everyone's just upgraded to Town Hall 10 and beyond. And I know a lot of people say Town Hall 9 is broken. And maybe it is to some extent. Um, but 
I'm going to actually put out a Town Hall 9 video based on a lot of these attacks I've been seeing, a Town Hall 9 defensive video, which um, is not a, a fairy tale. It actually, you can still try to defend at Town Hall 9. It's not easy. Um, let's take a look at an attack, though. I want to look at this one. Um, go ahead and show just a cool army comp. And it's mostly witches at Town Hall 9, but I want to show one attack that wasn't witches that still crushed a base. And we'll show one of their attacks, uh, the victors of this league, out of respect because um, they definitely deserved it. And I want to give them a little, uh, a little bit of a shout out here um, because oftentimes these lower leagues don't get enough recognition. Um, but a very good job to One Hive Origins. This was something that's not easy to do when you're, I guess, not the main clan in a clan family. A lot of times members are coming and going fast, but they really stuck it out. There's a great core group in One Hive Origins. And um, some of it is second accounts of people in One Hive Genesis or Alpha, um, but there are some, you know, very committed leadership in that division of our clan family. And this one was looks like healers on the Pekka, just a, <laughs> a weird attack. The king splits off one way. The idea was basically, I think, to do a Pekka walk into um, like a bowler kill squad. And really, these heavy troops are working at Town Hall Nine not just the witches. Now, the funnel was a little sketchy, but everything goes in for the most part. CC comes out, and uh, poison or two on it will kind of deal with that CC. Um, but yeah, things are just going to push through here. And then, of course, the hogs and two heals doesn't hurt either. This actually, in a weird way, turns into kind of a queen charge with these P.E.K.K.A.s just kind of following behind. So an interesting, interesting attack here. Uh, we'll go ahead and go times two just to speed things along as these hogs move through. Um, healing them nice and early, and then has a poison for the king and some of these skellies. So good stuff to artist. And like I said, the stakes are high. Even though it's Town Hall 9 attacks, you got to be perfect in these tiebreakers. I like the way they did it, the way it works. Um, just like a four-hour war day, five accounts. I assume they had different bases. It would be kind of weird to have the same base you just attacked in the previous war, which was tied. Um, so I assume everyone had new bases for the most part. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this witch attack here. Um, but that's there's, that's it. There's five attacks, five bases. It's just like the built-in war leagues uh, within the game that uh, came out pretty recently. The Supercell War Leagues, some people call them, in that it's one attack per player. So really, if it's all Town Hall 9s, you got to be perfect. And we unfortunately fell short one attack. I'm not going to show it because I'm going to use it for another video that I talked about. But, um, yeah, it's it's tough, and I'm sure there's a lot of pressure on these attackers. But uh, Town Hall 9, it for sure, is very much, if you don't triple, you're that's kind of a failure. Every base should be fresh tripled for the most part, um, especially when the Town Hall 9s are just the bottom within a war. I think One Hive Origins was running mostly like 9, 10 splits, which is kind of fun to watch because I'm used to seeing all the Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11 stuff. Um, it's nice to kind of get a refreshing look back at Town Hall 9, even if the balance has gone off a little bit. So this was just your typical uh, kind of witch spam type attack. Bowlers coming in, but um, it's it's misleading to say these are spam. Yes, you can just drop like all witches and your heroes and some jump spells, and you can triple a base maybe like half the time. But what really it's about is can you can you continue to triple? It's almost like dipping in a weird way. It's how consistently can you do this? Because anyone can throw a bunch of troops down and three star, you know, most of the time. But can you do that almost every time? And we're seeing people hitting like above ninety percent, even higher at Town Hall Nine. And that's kind of the curve that it's become is can you get those triples um, all the time? And this tiebreaker really exposed that because there weren't any Town Hall 10s. Now, if there's a heavy breakdown with 10s and 11s, the Town Hall 9s, you know, if you fail one or two attacks, the 10s can cover it. Plus, the 9s are scouting anyway. There's tons of extra Town Hall 9 attacks. So you really only see these intense wars when it's all Town Hall 9s. And I think it would be fun to have, um, for future, have a, maybe like an event where it's all Town Hall 9s, like 50 v 50, but everyone gets one attack. And that would be fun to kind of bring back Town Hall 9. Yes, it's easy, but if you put the stakes like that, um, just one or two fails, that can be the difference. So 
fun to see some of these attacks. That'll do it for this video, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the dragon uh, bat attacks, if that's what you were here for at the beginning of the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Look forward to that Town Hall 9 video coming out soon. Bisectatron out.